Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, those strange sounds you hear in the background, that's a new digital mode called FT8. FT8, uh, again by uh, Joe Taylor, uh, the astrophysicist who uh, actually introduced JT65. They've got a new mode now called FT8. Uh, this past week, I uh, played with it a little bit, made a few contacts with it, uh, and I wanted to give you a look at it and kind of show you where you can get or how to get the software to decode this new mode. So anyway, let's switch over to the screen, and I'll give you a look at that. All right, let me uh, kind of turn the sound off on the computer. And uh, here it is, and you're on 14.074, which on 20 meters is uh, where FT8 signals are. Uh, looking at it, you can see it's kind of between the PSK31 signals at 14.070. And the uh, JT65 signals up here at 14.076. So it's kind of in between, uh, frequency wise, uh, PSK31 and JT65. Uh, the main difference, and we're going to decode some so you'll be able to see how it does it, but the main difference between this mode. And uh, JT65 is it's much faster exchanges. Uh, 15 seconds per exchange versus 48 seconds uh, with uh, JT65. So it goes quite a bit faster. So uh, uh, in JT65, I like to make the joke that you can eat a sandwich while you're making the uh, contact. I don't think you're going to be able to do it with FT8, but that appeals to a lot of people that it uh, be a fast exchange. Uh, I think the documentation says it's not quite as sensitive as JT65 uh, as far as decoding weak signals. Uh, but again, it's basically an early development stage now, and uh, i got to wait a little while and, and let uh, Joe Taylor and crew kind of play with it, the coding, and see how uh, well they can make it decode. So uh, anyway, let's turn the volume on now so you can hear that tone, and I'll turn up the radio so you get a feel for what it sounds like. Sounds like a, some kind of alien signal coming in from deep space. But anyway, that's the FT8 signal. Uh, let me kind of show you how close it is to some of those other modes uh, so you can get a feel for it. So if we move up the band a little bit to 7.6, uh, here we are at the JT65 signals. And if we move down to 14.070, here we are at PSK 31. So it's uh, basically situated right in between at 74, 074, upper sideband, of course. And there it is. 
So let's uh, pop up the software that decodes uh, FTA. So here we are uh, in WSJTX, and we're going to start getting some decodes here in a minute. And there you go. Again, uh, notice the uh, green highlight for the call sign that's calling CQ. Very similar to JT65. But you can see how fast the decodes are coming. Uh, again, it's only a 15 second uh, exchange. The other thing I'm noticing is uh, sometimes they'll skip the Roger, Roger, Roger part of the exchange and just send uh, 73 as acknowledgement uh, that they did receive the signal report. Some of them skip the Roger, Roger, Roger. Kind of similar to uh, JT65 where they'll uh, do both of them as one transmission, you know, they'll send uh, the call sign Roger Roger 73 RR 73 all at once and skip uh, You know that extra minute in JT 65 of uh, Exchange time, but in this one, I don't really think you need to do it. It goes so fast that you can send uh, a Roger, Roger, Roger acknowledgement and then send 73. It's only going to be another 15 seconds. So as you can see, it's decoding some signals right now. And uh, it seems to work quite well. I made a couple of contacts the other day. And... Uh, <clears throat> Right now, this minute, or at least uh, this morning, let me kind of get you off of this for a second. <clears throat> get you over here. Turn the volume uh, down on this uh, signal. It doesn't bother me. Well, I, I checked again this morning, and what is today? Today is the 21st of July. So I checked this morning and uh, QRZ uh, and the LOTW still hadn't been uh, corrected to accept an FT8 mode as, a, as an, a legitimate uh, uh, contact. They haven't added that to their drop down list of selected modes. So you go there to look, and uh, there is no FT8. However, it is showing up on EQSL right now. So I expect in the next day or two, probably it'll show up on QRZ and uh, in the drop-down list where you select the mode. And that LOTW will start accepting contacts. For right now, what I'm doing is uh, I'm actually logging them as JT65 with a comment uh, that's visible on QRZ that says FT8 contact. Very visible when you look at your log on QRZ. And I'll just go back at some point a couple of weeks from now and just change those over to FT8. Uh, on QRZ once uh, they have that mode enabled. So anyway, a brand new mode. Uh, get out there and uh, play with it. Let me uh, kind of show you the websites real quick. I've already got them pulled up. Uh, again, let me switch you over here. And this is where you're going to get the software that runs that's capable of decoding FT8. You're going to go to WSJTX 
This is uh, Joe Taylor's site uh, at the physics.princeton.edu website. Uh, I'll give you this link down in the description. And uh, if you look right about here, you'll see he's already telling you if you're looking for the release candidate that has FT8, you got to go to the bottom of the page. So we're going to scroll down here, and this is the bottom, and there's the Windows version, release candidate 1, and the Linux versions, and the Mac versions, and here's the source code. And anyway, you just uh, install this, uh, do your normal sound card settings, just like you would do for JT65 or PSK31 or any of the digital modes, and this will be up and running. And you'll be able to decode uh, FT8 because it shows up in the drop-down box. And I can show you that real quick. Let's uh, do this right here. And if we go up here to Mode, you can see that FT8 is one of the selections now. FT8 is actually showing up in the Mode now. So, uh, <clears throat> With this new uh, release candidate one of WSJTX, uh, you can work this mode no problem. Then the other uh, place you might want to look at it is on the ARRL site. There's a little write-up now with a screenshot that you can look at for WSJTX. And uh, it kind of talks about it a little bit. So I'm sure they'll have LOTW Logbook of the World uh, set up for this very shortly. And you'll be able to log those contacts electronically. So let me get you back over on my smiling face again. Let's see, where are we here? We're right here. <laughs> And with that said, hope uh, this gave you a little more information on FTA. And uh, keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later. 73 and clear skies. Be good.